Third addition. In order to add square roots, we have to have roots that match. So for example, if I have 2 times the square root of 5 plus 3 times the square root of 5, I can add together and get 5 times the square root of 5, because 2 plus 3 is 5. We treat our radical the same as we would treat any variable. However, here I have radicals that don't match, so first I have to simplify them. 48 is 3 times 16. Again, if you don't know that that's 3 times 16, you can do a full factoring and pull out pairs. But I can pull out the 4 from that 16 and I'm left with a 3. 75 is 3 times 25. 25 is a perfect square, so I can pull that 5 out. They already have a 4 here, so I'm actually going to end up with 4 times 5 times the square root of 3. So this is negative 4 root 3 minus 20 root 3. I have two negatives. I can add those together, and I get negative 24 root 3. Here I have 98 and 18. Obviously, they don't match. So I'm going to factor them. I have 2 times 49, which is 7 times 7. And here I have 2 times 9, which is 3 times 3. So I can pull out my 7, and I'm going to multiply that by the 5 that was already there. And here I can pull out my 3. So I get 35 root 2 plus 3. Sorry, that should have been a 2. Root 2 which gives me 38 times the square root of 2. I have 72 and 50. 72 is 2 times 36, and 36 is a perfect square, so I can pull out that 6. 50 is 2 times 25, and 25 is a perfect square, so I can pull out the 5. And in both cases, I have a 2 remaining. So I have 6 root 2 plus 25 root 2, which gives me 31 times the square root of 2. OK, for our last example, 75 is 3 times 25, and 12 is 3 times 4. 25 and 4 are both perfect squares. Here I can pull out the 5. Here I can pull out a 2. And in both cases, the 3 remains. So I have negative 5 root 3 plus 8 root 3. Negative 5 plus 8 is 3. So I have 3 times the square root of 3.